Having previously taken a close look at the more than affordable DaVinci Mini W, which turned out to be a great performer for the price, and if that didn't tempt you already, then this may well do it. The DaVinci Junior. The DaVinci Junior by XYZ Printing, available from established online retailer Reichelt, is a small but well-equipped 3D printer that is aimed at newcomers and the casual consumer, offering a lot of printing performance for the price. Naturally, at this price point there will be a few compromises, but for most users the DaVinci Junior could prove a good intro to 3D printing. And like the Mini W, the Junior package is pretty decent too. Alongside the printer you receive a power adapter and a range of tools helping you along your way. And of course a single spool of plastic filament. Don't let the printer's low price fool you though. This is one of the best designed, easy to use 3D printers on the market right now. Weighing in at around 26 pounds, upon first glance the orange and white framed DaVinci Junior seems really well made. At this price point you may think XYZ printing would cheap out a little, but the quality is actually really good. No issues there at all. On the front we find a 2.6 inch 4 line LCD screen accompanied by 6 navigation buttons for you to control the machine. Useful for managing the printer including loading and unloading the filament, viewing the printer status, and even initiating a print job without the need for a computer. The latter option is available because the printer has an SD card slot behind the screen. An 8GB card is included with the printer which contains setup guides in PDF formats and also a test 3D model, but you can use any SD card with the printer, as long as it's formatted in FAT32. There is no wireless printing option with this model, although if you'd rather print via USB, you'll find the accompanying port on the right side of the unit, along with a power input and on off switch. Returning to the front, the clear plastic window not only lets you see your prints in progress, the all enclosed printing area provides a safe printing environment. The cover swings up and provides access to the SD card slot mentioned earlier, as well as the print head, and the print bed itself. With a build area of 5.9 square inches, which is modest in comparison to the competition, it is not heated. Good from a safety standpoint, but can be tricky when trying to get prints to stick to the bed. Getting the DaVinci Junior up and running is a seriously easy process too. If you've never dealt with a 3D printer before and need help, there's a very well illustrated step by step guide included. Although out of the box, the 3D printer is assembled and almost ready to use. All you need to do after removing the packaging materials is to install the guide tube and then install the included filament spool. The DaVinci Junior features safe and easy fused filament fabrication cartridges that auto load and NFC technology that detects when the filament is low and needs replacing. Cartridges are proprietary and designed especially for the unit, allowing the printer to track both the colour and how much of the printer filament is left on the reel, making things super easy. Although that sounds useful, it also means XYZ have locked users into their own proprietary filament, so you can't use other manufacturer's spools or refill a spool, although pricing is around the same as the competition regardless. Unfortunately I suspect most vendors will take this route in future. Nevertheless, this installs into the side of the printer keeping everything internal nice and neat. Feed some plastic through the previously inserted tube as far as it will go, and that's pretty much the setup complete. Bear in mind the printer's build bed is not heated and non-removable. Instead the package includes a set of three reusable form-fitting bed tapes that cover the top of the build platform when in use. You can buy more of these tapes when they run out or just use something simple like painter's tape. These tapes are intended to keep the object being built from moving around. That is literally all the setup you need to complete, which is great from a beginner's perspective. Switch the unit on and scroll through the menu to load filament, and after heating up the nozzle, it'll pull the plastic through and we're ready to print. Well, almost. The next step involves XYZ's printing software. Available on both Windows and Mac platforms, XYZWare, being aimed at the beginner, is a rather basic level package and allows very basic position manipulation of an object once it has been loaded into the virtual print bed, and offers the ability to scale the object's size. You can also add multiple 3D models to a single print job as long as they don't exceed the maximum 6 inch cubed print volume. 
There are a ton of models available online to get you started, with the Junior supporting XYZ's own 3W format, as well as 3MF and the more common STL. You won't be able to dissect a print job and inspect it layer by layer to ensure its quality, which is a feature found in more sophisticated software from other companies, and you have no control over how much support material is applied to specific areas of an object that has protruding or precarious features. That said, when ready we can set some basic options such as quality, where we need to add support for overhangs, fill density, along with any other finer tweaking if need be, before sending the print job directly to the printer or saving it to the SD card. To my pleasant surprise, the printer didn't require a manual calibration before use either, again making it nice and easy to use. Simply navigate the menus to find your model on your SD card, or print directly from your USB connected computer and off you go. Don't expect whisper quiet operation though, the fan integrated into the head as well as another at the rear of the printer do make this a rather noisy unit. Just like the most common 3D printers on the market, during a print job the print head pulls the filament string, melts the plastic, and extrudes it onto the platform underneath through the nozzle. The print head rises gradually as the object being printed gets taller, while moving around depending on the object's width and shape. As the extruded plastic piles on top, layer by layer, it congeals very quickly and after a while it slowly forms the object. As a single extruder, the Da Vinci Junior can work with only one filament source at a time. This means you can only print objects of one colour with the printer, but you can always paint the finished object in whatever colour you like afterwards. Depending upon the size of the object and the level of quality setting, just like other 3D printers, a print job can take from half an hour to more than 10 hours. So make sure you have plenty of time on hand. And sometimes they didn't complete at all. I ran into a few failed prints at first. As it turned out, the print bed surface, even when covered by the provided bed tape, wasn't sticky enough to always keep the object being built in place as we can see from the left side here which is lifted clean off the bed. Even coating the surface of the print platform with a thin layer of school glue didn't work too well, although I found using some more tacky double sided tape to work every time. Once this was sorted the printer worked reliably and I was able to make objects with no problems at all. Bear in mind this is a budget sub $300 unit here, so you can't expect the best, smoothest models, but for what you receive at this price point it's rather good. The normal mode can be used like a draft and layering is clearly visible. Bump up the quality though and that layering reduces, and at the highest settings it produced reasonably smooth and clean models, with nice curves and sharp edges. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect by far. There are still some slight glitches here and there though, and you can see the print layers. You'd need to spend much more on a higher resolution printer for anything smoother, but for a printer in this price range it's actually quite impressive. All in all, the Da Vinci Junior has a lot going for it. First, the pricing. For the first time we have a 3D printer that costs about the same as a high-end inkjet printer. Second, it's ease of use. The fact that you don't need to manually calibrate it makes it so much more user-friendly than any printers that require calibration. And finally, the print quality as well as speed of the Da Vinci Junior were quite remarkable, especially considering the cost. All these factors make its use of proprietary filament and the need for glue to work consistently minor shortcomings. Also consider that although the printer's print platform is smaller than those of other printers, in reality its 5.9 cubic inches is quite large. Most of the time you'll print objects that are much smaller than that, and there's still the option to make a bigger object by printing in smaller pieces and assembling them later. Having said that, the Da Vinci Junior is a great printer and is an excellent deal for anyone interested in getting started with 3D printing. Yes, you can only use proprietary filaments and you'll still see some layering in completed prints, but if you're a beginner looking for your first break into 3D printing, then it doesn't get much simpler than this, leaving the Da Vinci Junior a great place to start.